Enhance your experience by becoming a supporting member. Gain access to unseen videos and video requests. Three day free trial by visiting zionmembership.com. Chosen ones, empaths, these narcissists that were involved in your life, or once involved in your life, they're out there right now, relentlessly pursuing your replacement. They search far and wide trying to tame and source a supply tame a source of supply that can live up to the expectations that you used to provide and they they fail and fail and fail you've got to understand one thing you know you were such a tremendous impact into the life of the narcissist that you were involved with and they never gave you your props they never gave you your dues Right, you you are a tremendous impact in the life of this narcissist that was involved in your life, and you know you may not realize it. Right, the thing is, you may not realize it because of the way they treated you through the belittling, the devaluation, the smears, the gaslighting. You know, you may not realize your worth. A lot of victims of narcissistic abuse don't realize their worth. Right, but the fact of the matter is. You being chosen ones, you being empaths, you know, you're highly intuitive, you're authentic, you're loving, you're kind, you're loyal, you're transparent, you're honest. And all of these traits, you know, provide a potent source of supply for the narcissist. And, you know, they were delusional, right? You know, when, when, when you were still in the relationship with them of whatever type of relationship, this is friend, family member, colleague, romantic partner, associate, when you were still in the relationship with them, they did get delusional. They did believe they deserved more. They did, right? I'm not trying to trigger you now, but they believed they deserved more. They believed they could find better. They believed they could do better. And that's why they fall victim to the shiny object syndrome or the grass is greener syndrome, right? And then they get over there, you know, thinking they're on green blades of grass. And then they realize they're on some astro turf, as that comment has said. Or, you know, they had, the, they had the, the rare precious stone within you, but they saw something else shining. And they get over there and it's just a bit of scrap metal, you know. This is what they face, right? You're not easily replaced. And... As I always inform you, you know, the narcissist that was involved in your life is a codependent upon your supply. They grew accustomed to the way you used to do things. They become dependent on the way you used to do things. They got used to the way you used to do things. And when they go back out in the big wide world and they begin searching far and wide to find a source of supply, people don't tick the boxes that you used to tick. A lot of these suppliers that they get into contact with miss the mark, right? Don't believe the illusion of the narcissist if they're portraying to you or anyone that they're living their best life and you're easily replaced. That, you know, you need to look beneath the veil. You have to look beneath the veil when dealing with narcissists, right? You need to know that you had such a tremendous impact that it becomes a lifelong mission, for the narcissist to replace you. And they never will. They will never find someone that done what you used to do. They'll find other people, no doubt. They'll find other suppliers. That goes without saying. They'll find other suppliers. But these suppliers won't do what you did. They won't provide supply in the same way that you once did. Please press the like and the subscribe button. Help you come right. It'll take two seconds of your time. Thank you. So there's two ways that a narcissist that was involved in your life goes about this situation. They either get caught up in the cycle of going from supply to supply to supply to supply, or they cling to one new supply out of sheer desperation. Right? They can't face being alone again. Perhaps. You discard, um, perhaps you cut them off, right? And you left them without supply and it made them become desperate, you know? 
or perhaps they didn't have a new source of supply lined up when they discarded you or reverse discarded you. Perhaps it happened spontaneously, the, the, the separation between yourselves with this narcissist involved in your life and they were, they were without supply for a little period of time. So they become very desperate and they'll cling to a new supply. Even though this new supply is not living up to your potential, they'll cling out of desperation or... Like I said previously, they end up getting caught up in the cycle of going from supplier to supplier to supplier to supplier. But either either way, they're miserable. They're not content. They're not sufficed. They're not happy, right? A narcissist is not happy in general anyway. But this just makes them even more sour, right? This just makes them even more miserable, okay? You used to be their light in the dark right? Your light used to make them shine bright. You used to make them appear better than they actually were by them being in your presence. You see, things in life might have lined up well for them when they were in your presence, but being without you, things become a challenge. Things become more difficult, okay? So you need to understand that the narcissist searches far and wide, but never finds your replacement. And this is the mission that they embark on, right? And it can last a lifetime trying to search for your replacement. It's not easy out there. It's not easy. In whichever type of relationship this was you was involved in, friend, family member, colleague, romantic partner, associate, regardless, it all remains the same. When a chosen one or an empath is in a narcissist's life, they don't appreciate it at the time. They belittle you, they undermine you, they take you for granted, they're very selfish. But when you're gone, right, that's when reality kicks in for them. That is when reality kicks in. So you need to understand that you will experience hoovers at some point in time. They will try and build that bridge back across to you somehow. They're not very good at doing it, but they will reach out with the hoover. A lot of them are temperament checkers to test your temperament, to see how your healing is doing, to see how, you're, how well you're doing. Make sure that you utilize no contact, maybe don't even respond, right? You know, they, they will hoover. They will try and hoover the chosen one and empath because even if they're in with a new supply, they will hoover you, right? You know, you're occupying their mind. You're occupying their thoughts, right? So even if they are with a new supply, they will hoover you, okay? And it's because, you know, they would give up that new supply in a second if there was an opportunity to come back to you. But they know that they've burnt the bridge. They know it's harder for that situation to work out, right? So that's why they'll run an analysis with you with a temperament checker, the, the hoover to see if you're coherent right and a lot of you will be so evolved and developed and healed by that point that you know you you won't accept the hoover and that's a great place to be in right so you just need to understand this narcissist is on the search they will continue to search even with their with their with their new supplies they're still scanning new future uh, potential suppliers um, run an analysis to see if people can outpoint you, right? To see if they can find better than you. And they just don't. It's highly unlikely they'll ever come across another empath or chosen one again. You know, many narcissists don't even experience the chance of being with an empath. Right? It's very far and few between. So, anyway, just remember this narcissist that was involved in your life is on a lifelong mission to try and find your replacement they fail at every turn so anyway thank you for watching today please press the like and the subscribe button if you'd like to donate to the channel you can find the link in the description box and if you'd like a one-to-one -one session with myself you can also find the link in the description box currently i've got a secondary channel a spiritual channel enhance your experience by becoming a supporting member gain access to unseen videos and video requests three day free trial by visiting zionmembership.com so anyway, I'll be back with another video soon. Peace.